What's up, guys? Taking you guys with me onto the gym,、uh, making sure I'm getting my pre-workout before hitting my session. Kind of feel not in the condition, right? So、uh, I don't know what the fuck this is, but、uh, went to the med store and they kind of gave me this for、uh, you know, kind of recover your health a little bit better. Vitamin A, D, B1, C. That's what's inside with this shit. Good for your bones and your erection. So I'm gonna try this out. <laughs> That's a fucking pre-workout. Kind of looks like a ginseng pill, but here it goes.、Mm. Tastes good. All right, guys.、Uh, today, I'm gonna take you guys with me on my push day. Yesterday was my leg day. If you guys didn't check out my vlog, and if you guys also didn't notice, you're watching this video in glorious 4K. So, hope you guys tell the difference. And yeah,、um, the fuck am I doing? Anyways, I'll take you guys with me to the gym. It's just like a two-minute walk away from here. Gonna be hitting my shoulders, chest, and arms. Trying to、uh, put at least three muscle parts within the day because、um, I won't be getting a lot of frequency in my workouts. So at least intensity and a bit of volume is in my workout. So、uh, take you guys with me there.、Uh, yeah, stay tuned. So welcome back. We're here in the gym. We're gonna be starting off with some overhead presses. And if you guys are curious to what program I follow on my shoulder day, the programs will be provided in the description box for you to check it out. But I do start off with a strength program first, and later on I move on to isolation movements, specifically that target on the metabolic stress. So、uh, stay tuned. We'll be right at it. Alright, guys. Welcome back. Decided to do a commentary.、Um, sorry, guys. It's been a while. It's been pretty hectic lately. Currently here in Korea,、I'm、spending a lot of my time with the family. So that's what's up. Anyways, guys, here bringing you guys a push day as usual. Bringing up with a compound movement. If you guys happen to wonder which workout I follow in terms of my strength, I follow a five three one program. I'll、provide a link for you down below if you happen to、uh, give a fuck. Check it out; really great to build strength and break your plateau. And、uh, currently, I'm doing an overhead press with around twenty、uh, kilos on each side, so probably that's like one thirty-five. Doing like five to six reps right there, just killing it. And、uh, guys, if you guys do not know, I've ended my cut. So big update, guys! Big news.、Um, not that I'm back on bulking. I'm kind of a bit on a maintenance, probably a little bit of surplus. But I've realized that if I jump right in into my bulking, lean bulking,、uh, my genetics happens to be that I really get fat really fast. And、uh, to be honest with you guys, when I have ended my cut, it really did not. Essentially, begin with a goal in mind, especially when I begin my cut. It just came naturally. The fact that I have to, you know,、um, fit into certain situations like、uh, like this, like when I'm on a vacation, I cannot track macros, guys. It just ain't possible, and it's not ethical. So it just happened, but、uh, it's great. I've been cutting since January, so、uh, and the end of March. That's pretty much the end of it. But yeah, guys. So far, it's been a learning curve. It's been、uh, so great. I've got to really experiment with my body, especially in terms of my, you know, how my body reacts to certain、uh, macros, to certain calorie levels.、Um, so here, I, here we have dips, guys. It's a push day after all.、Um, I usually do weighted dips, guys, but especially for this gym,、um, there wasn't a, any weight belt available. So.、Uh, What I had to implement on this exercise is just to do calisthenics on this bad boy. So 
that's what I'm doing here right now in the dips. Um, doing a bit of moving dips back and forth. Um, was alright. Felt good. Needed a bit of break time right there. So that's what's up. Uh, and uh, we move on to the side lateral races. Um, again, guys, I'm putting like three of this exercise in a week. Trying to get that fucking delts on the side. <laughs> So that's uh, that's what I'm trying to maximize here, but uh, again, guys, uh, muscle to mind connection. I strongly emphasize on this. There are many ways you can do this exercise. I gotta be honest with you. You can do it sitting down, standing up, but do what you feel comfortable the most, and do the exercise where you feel um, the most contraction with the most pump, and that's what's working. And full range of motion as always, and uh, bring hard as you can on every exercise. And lastly, I just want to give you guys a quick tip when it comes to cutting. If ever you guys are going to cut, I have some uh, some tips, guys, that I've learned for myself. And that might help you guys out when you're cutting. Uh, first of all, guys, there's a myth that I need to just fucking break into this fitness industry or when it comes to cutting. Because a lot of you guys, or even including myself, has learned this bodybuilding through online. And uh, not everything is on there. You know, you can spend time reading books here and there, but... You know, not everything's going to work exactly the same for your body. We're all designed in a different way. So doing this exactly like point A to point B is not going to reach the final goal you have in mind. So uh, here's the first thing, guys. When you're cutting, um, the only thing you're going to make changes into your program or your nutrition is the uh, this is nutrition. Got kind of like caught off right there. Is <laughs> the nutrition, guys. Uh, what I mean by that, uh, stay the same when it comes to your weight when you're exercising. Uh, if you're lifting 315 pounds for deadlift, stay as is, man. You don't want to decrease your strength. The whole point of cutting is getting rid of body fat. It's not it's not there to make you look skinny, okay? So train as you used to train. If your training's weight goes down on the cut, you know, change up your nutrition. If it's affecting your performance in the gym, there's probably something wrong in your macros. Again, yet again, I'm trying to emphasize this point because it's all about the feel and how our body really responds to certain things, and it's all different. So, under certain days, you might walk a lot more. Your activity levels are higher. You know, certain days you lack recovery. So, do what you feel the best for you, and uh, try not to starve yourself when you're cutting. Also, and uh, be patient, guys. That's the next thing I can give you. Um, you're not supposed to see results every fucking day. Like you're not going to see a cut within a certain a week or two. It takes months, and it's a wiser approach that way. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. That's the basic two that I've learned so far, guys. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this whole episode. It will be coming out for more. Make sure to leave your comments down below. And uh, guys, stay shredded. All right, signing out, guys. Take care.